Ready? I've been ready this last half hour. Read that bloody paper twice waiting for you and Shirley Temple. <laughs> Blimey, look at it. Look oh. at it. Bloody raining again. It's only a shower. Your BBC forecast last night was sunny spells. And showers. Yeah. Well, I don't know who's getting the sunny spells, because all we're getting here in Wapping is the bloody showers. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what we pay them the licence money for. You don't pay them. That's not a point! <laughs> Your ITA give you a far better programme altogether, with your commercials thrown in. They don't charge you a penny, neither. Yeah, don't see that David Frost on there anymore, do you? I used to like him. Yeah, well, he ain't allowed on there anymore. What? <laughs> oh, I mean, see, bloody what doing up here. Hey, Shirley! <laughs> uh, when he gets his bloody curlers out. <laughs> Takes longer to get ready than a bloody girl he does. God's truth, look at it, pouring down. Get bloody soap going up that hospital, we will. Why couldn't they put us somewhere a bit nearer? Well, they ain't got no beds anywhere else. Yeah, bloody National Health Service ain't bothered, it's their trouble. Done you anywhere to suit Sam? Don't give a monkey's about us. Us at pace for it all. As long as your doctors are comfortable and your bloody nurses, it's Sam Fairy Ann for the likes of us, isn't it? Well, Rita and the baby are comfortable there. There's nothing to do with that. It's not the point, is it? I mean, what about us? It's got to go traipsing up there in the bloody rain. Well, look, you stay here if it's too much bother for you to go and see your own daughter and your grandson. Nothing to do with that. No bother to go up the pub in the rain, though, would it? Well, it's a bit bloody near, isn't it? Me. <laughs> it's only on a corner, isn't it? Look, it wouldn't matter where it was, how far. Rain or snow, you'd be in it. Look, I'm not saying anything about going up to see my... Daughter, am I, my grandson? I want to go up there. All I'm saying is, they could have put her a bit more nearer, somewhere a bit more convenient, like. It don't matter where it was, how far, it'd still be inconvenient for you. Look. Yeah, I remember when I had Rita. It was six days before you come to see her. <laughs> and I was only upstairs. <laughs> And when you did finally put yourself out to come and see us, you were so drunk you thought I'd had twins. <laughs> well, all right, all right, I'll grant you. I mean, I had had a few. Yeah. Grant you that. I mean, I was celebrating, wasn't I? Celebrating the arrival of my firstborn. And your last. Blimey! Look at that! <laughs> What does he bloody look like, eh? <laughs> what does he bloody look like? Greer Garbo, that's what you look like. <laughs> you're blimey, you ain't going out dressed like that, are you? Yeah, why? Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Oh, stone of bleating crows. Look at it. Are you coming? Not with him dressed like that, eh? <laughs> bloody laughing stock. You see my handbag? Oh, isn't it marvellous, eh? There's another half hour, I suppose, looking for that now. Here you are, here you are. What's this? That's mine. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it fair, eh? Isn't it bloody fair? I have a grandson, and that thing has to be his father! <laughs> she <did. laughs> Don't talk to me, Greta Garbo. Your bloody label lot had their chance, mate, and all they done was line their own pockets at our expense. Never have so many been done by so few. <laughs> yeah, what about your bloody lot, then, eh? Hey, uh, at least Wilson didn't go out and buy a bloody brand new boat as soon as he got in, did he? Oh? Only reason that Mr. Heath bought that boat so as that he could win the Admiral's Cup for us. That's what he bought that for. And what's your darling Harold ever won for us, eh? What's he ever won? He couldn't even win two bob playing golf for a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> bloody moon-faced moron he is. I'll tell you something else. I'll tell you. Eve didn't buy two new bloody houses as soon as he got into power, did he? No, and he didn't waste the country's money publishing his wife's rubbishy bloody poems, neither. Well, he couldn't, could he? I mean, Mr. Eve hasn't got a wife. I know that, I know that, don't I? One less for the country to keep, innit? 
because I ain't to think how much darling Harold and his wife and his bloody family cost the country. And his bleeding Labrador. <laughs> Mr. He's keeping that. Shut up, you! I mean, that's one economy he did affect there, Mr. Mr. Heath, didn't he? Because he didn't fill up Downing Street with hordes of grubby bloody kids chalking all over the walls and sticking jam on the furniture, did he? How could he? He's just a big girl, isn't he? Big girl? You look more like a big girl than he does, mate. Oh, you look more like a big girl than a... than a big girl does! <laughs> look at him! Look at him! God's truth! Look at him! Eddie King! <laughs> Say what you like, but I'm still the father of your grandson. Say that. <laughs> you gonna sit on your bloody backside all day? There's a bus coming. Hey, yeah. Last up minute, manners, manners. Oh, shh. Cobblers. No more on about Money. cobblers, mate. Cobblers to you and all. Uh, double cobbler. It, what are you hanging about for now? Come on, we're lighting up already. Look at it. He's buying flowers for your daughter. Something it wouldn't hurt you to do. As a matter of fact, Mrs, I have got something for my daughter, and I? So you say. You'll see, you'll see. If I was going to buy flowers, I wouldn't buy them all for the likes of him. Bloody crooks. Look what they do. They go down the market, see, and they buy the flowers dirt cheap. They go around all the hospitals and cemeteries, flogging them at vastly inflated prices. Blimey. Bloody crooks. You can't even be ill these days or, or get buried without some greedy sod trying to make a profit out of you. <laughs> I get right. I couldn't agree with you more. That's your capitalism at work. Nothing to do with capitalism, you big sheila. Nothing to do with that at all. <laughs> It's a bloody spivery, that's what that is. Yeah, well, what's the difference? The difference, the difference, Shirley Temple, for your information is that your capitalists are the brains of your country, aren't they? You won't find them sitting around here on a Sunday afternoon in a pouring rain, flogging half dead flowers. No. 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 <laughs> They're probably in the south of France driving around their flash Rolls Royces. Uh, that, that really annoys you, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really know. gets up his porky little snout there, now, doesn't it? <laughs> well, don't you worry, Edna. Don't you worry, because you won't ever have that problem. You won't never be caught in the south of France driving around in your Rolls Royce. <laughs> Do you worry about that? <laughs> I'll tell you something else. You won't even be seen driving one round in Robin, neither. Neither will you. Here, I'll Sunny spells. Marvellous. Blimey, bloody eye. What's the matter with you? Get out of here. I'm not envious of them who has got Rolls Royces, am I? No. I am content, I am. <laughs> I am content to let them with the brains run the country. Let the others, with the big red hands, you know what it work. See, what you don't understand... <laughs> <laughs> what you don't understand, see, in his simplicity of youth, is that... <laughs> what you don't understand is that everyone is born according to their correct position in the sphere of things, there to fall. You can have dreams. Yeah. <laughs> have dreams. Winning bingo. Yeah, but not above your station. Fools. You disgust me. And you disgust me in all bloody handbags. <laughs> I wonder if the Queen dreams. Well, I suppose so. About that, I mean. <laughs> They're what? Winning the pools. <laughs> hey? Well, I mean, she is hard up, isn't she? Yeah, only because of his lot. Darling Harold and his yeah. bloody brigands, that's all. <laughs> they had their way, they bleed her dry. Crown jewels and all. I don't know how she put up with them when I was in office, I don't. Oh, well, Philip. He's hard up too. He had to sell his polo ponies. Yeah, he probably had to sell them to France for steaks. <gasps> that man wouldn't do a thing like that. Get off. Hey, uh, I haven't seen her corgis about since that dog skin market started. <laughs> <laughs> you 
traitorous casket. <laughs> I'll tell you something, Blondie. That woman, that woman, when she put in her wage claim, she did behave with a bit more decorum and decency than your bloody coal mines, your railway workers, didn't she? Hey? She didn't come out and strike and plunge the country in the darkness, no. And she didn't start a go slow, neither. No, all she had was a sit-in. She didn't have no demos, neither. No. Nor him, he didn't, either. No, all she done was carried on with the affairs of state as normal, whilst negotiating her just claim through the proper channels, as constituted by your House of Parliament. And I'll tell you something else. The Industrial Relations Tribunal Court didn't have to fine her no £50,000. No. And he didn't have to lock her up in prison for contempt of court, neither. Nor to go to the official solicitor to get her out of Unlike some of your scar stockers who are persistently withdrawing their labour under the influence of your IRA. <laughs> <laughs> strike the workers ever had was communist inspired before and all of a sudden according to you that I are inspired well they are up in bloody Liverpool because most of them's red faced mixed <laughs> it's a bloody Irish colony up there isn't it bloody paddies they're worse than the Pakistanis they are <laughs> bloody lazy sods they get off the boat and that's where they stop <laughs> bloody Ireland they ought to get the Royal Navy Her Majesty's Royal Navy and sink it <laughs> Now they got four battleships, two aircraft carriers, and blow it out of the Irish Sea! <laughs> They'll fix their no-go areas for them! <laughs> Afternoon. No. Name, please. Garnet. I'm sorry, there's no garnet registered here. Look, it's Rawlings, love. Rawlings. <laughs> oh, yes, first floor, Ward 7. Done. Bloody Darth name Rawlings, isn't it? Oh, he's smashing. Ah. Oh, thank you. Marie? No. Well done, girl. <laughs> Do I get a kiss? You're all right. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Come on, what's that bloody stuff you've got on there? Ah, oh, hello, cheeky. Ah, Diddum's dead. Yes, it's Nanny. Yes. I think he knows me already. <laughs> He's only two days old. <laughs> well, some's more forward than others. Yeah, he knows me, don't you? Yes, he does. Yes. Yes, it's your Nanny, <laughs> nanny, nanny Dundee. <laughs> well, what is it then? I think he's trying to tell me something. Tell you, bloody Come on, shut what up. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, he reminds me of my sister's first boy. Mm. Well, I mean, Rita favoured our side of the family. And I can see Rita in him. Yeah, you're like your mummy, aren't you? Yes, you are, yes. Look, smiling at me. It's wind. <laughs> oh. Here, I bought you some things. Look, here. Here's your towel. It's orange. Oh, look. Here. Lovely lorry, look. There. There. And uh, these are for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Shall I open them for you? <laughs> yeah, I'll read. For you and the lad. <laughs> he can't drink scotch. No, no, no. <laughs> no. It's a little drop. I mean, dip his dummy in it. Yeah, you had your way, you put a teeth on the bottle. <laughs> oh, blimey, me. He's got to get a taste sometime, isn't he, eh? Won't do him no harm. Cool, blimey. 
You shut. You take the notice of the women folk. Listen to your granddad. You'll be all right, son. <laughs> hey, look, he's reaching out for it. Go on in, me old son. Go on in. He's going to be a good one, he is. <laughs> hey, hey, you hey, 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 Come here, get out of it, a little drop, won't I? Oh, hey, what's the matter with you? God, blimey, my old dad brought us up on his stuff. Oh. Put hairs on his chest as well. <laughs> well, that grows him a bit of muscle. Look, my old dad, see? My old dad brought us up on it, he did. Do you know what? When I was five year old, I could down a pint in five seconds. Yeah, no, if you couldn't down a pint in five seconds now. No, well, I mean, slow up, isn't you? You get on. Me, lose a bit of your speed with your advancing years. I like your Bobby Moore. <laughs> <laughs> Dead slow he was against Germany, wasn't he? He slowed down a bit. He gave away a penalty. That wasn't no bloody penalty, <laughs> mate. That was an open. That was a fair tackle. That was miles outside a penalty area. It anyway. was a late tackle. It was a fair late tackle. <laughs> bloody Joan was acting, wasn't he? Illegal tackle. He took him from behind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And what about bloody whopping during a blitz then, eh? Eh? Hey? <laughs> Jerry, dropping bombs on innocent women and children. What? That wasn't illegal, I suppose, was it? <laughs> no. And where was your bloody referee then, eh? Answer me that. <laughs> but... Shut up. Have you just come in here to drink and argue football? I ain't arguing. I'm trying no, to explain no, 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 something no, we're just, to it. Uh, I'll wet the baby's egg. Look, I'll do all the baby's egg wetting, mate. Don't worry about that. It's my bloody whiskey. My grandson, isn't you? Yeah. Bobby Moore trains on this stuff, doesn't he? Out <laughs> <laughs> of cobblers. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh blimey. <laughs> Ugly not, ain't I? <laughs> oh, none of them's half as good looking as our little Alfie here. You know what? Reminds me when I was in it. Alfie? Yeah, the little one here. We're not going to call him Alf. Eh? Hey? We're going to call him Michael after his daddy. Michael Patrick Rawlings. Patrick? <laughs> Patrick? <laughs> he ain't a bloody Mick, is he? Patrick after Mike's dad. That's right. And what about your dad? Eh? Hey? Hey? Oh, I don't count, do I? Oh, no. I'm nothing. I mean, I only put a roof over their heads, that's all. Don't bother about me. Work your bloody fingers. <laughs> all right, we call him Michael Patrick Alf. <laughs> <laughs> satisfied? Yeah, satisfied. I'm nothing. I put me last. No matter, does it put. Oh, blimey. Look at that. <laughs> Disgusting, that is. Oh, it's true. Well, you've seen one before, haven't you? Shut up, you! <laughs> hey, she's no twiggy, is she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <let's> <laughs> <laughs> Serve you bloody righteous back here in nine months' time, wouldn't it? <laughs> Encouraging him, yeah! Start the kid off. Now. Ain't my bloody fault, is it? He's hungry. Yeah. Oh, is you hungry then? Oh, oh naughty yeah. mummy, let you go hungry. Yeah, never mind. Start shaking him like that, make him cry more, wouldn't it? Oh. Excuse me. Oh, all right, if I take him for his feet now, Mrs. Gordon. <laughs> Here. She ain't gonna feed him any of that jungle juice, is she? <laughs> you know, the... <laughs> Watch his little head. Yes, Mum. Bloody Roman church. Nine his little bird. Yes, Mum. I don't want him christened in a bloody Roman Catholic church! Look, he's my son! Yeah, and he's my grandson, and I don't want him going up a bloody Irishman! It's a Roman Catholic church, not an Irish Catholic church! Roman, Roman, Roman! And I don't want him going up a bloody eye tie, neither! <laughs> You're so bigoted! Bloody hokey-pokey penny-a-lump! If he wasn't christened... 
prison in a Roman Catholic church. He can have him prison in a Roman Catholic church. Though why he wants him prison at all, I don't know, because he's atheist himself. Ah, it's me mother, isn't it? Sod your mother. Hey, don't you talk about my mother like that. Why can't he be christened Garnet? Because his name is not Garnet, is it? My name is Rawlins, her name is Rawlins, and his name's got to be Rawlins too, all right? No, it ain't all right. There's one too many bloody Rawlinses in this house, if you ask me. And there's one too many Garnet, too. Ah, no. Dad, be bloody reasonable for Pete to watch your language in front of him, Rita. That's right. <laughs> Don't want him growing up like your father. That's right. Shut up! <laughs> no. Well, we don't want you growing up like him, do we, boy? No, we don't. Nasty old man. Yes. <laughs> no. Why don't you shut up, you silly old moo? He can't understand the bloody words you're talking about. Well, it's a blessing he can't understand a word you're talking about either. Oh, Dad, please. Can I hold him, Rita? Yes. Look, Dad, don't be stupid all your life. Just... All, all babies take their father's surname. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah? Well, that's where you're wrong, Miss Clever Dick. God, yeah. oh, blimey, all right, then. Name me one that ain't, then. Go on, all name me right, one that ain't. Shirley Temple, I will name you one who ain't. <laughs> See? <laughs> Young Charlie Windsor. Here's one who ain't. Who'd he play for? <laughs> Prince Charles, a traitorous scarskit. Prince Charles! <laughs> He ain't named after his father, is he? No. Isn't he? Named after his grandfather. His father's name ain't Windsor. His father, your Prince Philip. His name is Gottsberg, isn't it? I didn't know he was Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't bloody Jewish, you silly moon. No! No! Of course, he's got the nose, hasn't he? Hey, Philip, I mean, he's got the nose, hasn't he? Yes. I suppose that's why he walks around with his hands clasped behind his back. Why? Well, to stop waving them about. I mean, it's a dead giveaway, isn't it? <laughs> hey, that was Mick Charles, half Jewish, eh? God almighty, hey, Dad, they get in, don't they? Hey? Swines. Hey? Bloody swines. What's she talking about? The royal family? Jews, I think. So she passed on. <laughs> Bloody government's all the same. Nearly empty. Oh, Mike? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'll up. Say when. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to liven herself up a bit. That's what she wants to do. Well, she's getting old. Oh, she sits about too much. She wants to get out and about a bit more. That's what she wants to do. She gets out. Yeah, as far as here. <laughs> Can't go far on the pension. What are you bloody talking about? They're giving half fare on the buses now. She can go for a nice bus ride. Got nowhere to go. Oh, go up one step flats. Well, nothing to do there. Oh, blimey. Have a seat. Watch the grass grow. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. Well, mate, you're sick. Don't I mean if you've got nothing to do up there? You have a bus ride back again. I mean, you are getting it half price, aren't you? Yeah, maybe half price. Maybe. But I ain't got the pair to come back, have I? I ain't got the pair to get back with. Well, bloody well, stay there, then! <laughs> <laughs> bloody did she does. I mean, she comes around here gussing out gin, all right, doesn't she? You said to wet the baby's head. Yes, wet it, not bath it. <laughs> Leave her alone, you. Well, I'm only saying for her own good, aren't I? You wait till you're on your pension. Yeah, see how you feel. Yeah, it shouldn't be long either. No. Well, at least I will have earned me bloody pension, will I, when I get it? Unlike some. I mean, I wouldn't mind it. Give them their eyes, and they still ain't bloody well satisfied. Come on, get out of it. Out of it! I Come on! Two husbands in the war. Got nothing for that. No, you can't expect to, can you? Oh, don't be horrible. Losing one <laughs> husband's bad enough, never mind two. War office ought to give us something. Well, ain't a bloody war office's fault if both her husbands run off and left her, is it? <laughs> Eddie, my first one, he didn't send nothing home to me at all. Because they charged him too much rent on his trench. Them bloody trenches, they call <laughs> What's she on about charging? Oh, no, the they done. They done that. They done that, the bloody French did. Bloody foreign pigs. Oh, they charged all our lads rent, you know, on the trenches. Get out of it. That's a fact. That's what? a fact, bloody super mouse. That's a fact, that is. <laughs> <laughs> my old man was out there, told me all about it. That retreat from your mum, yeah. you see. 
That wasn't the Germans, that wasn't your Jerry what drove us back. It's your bloody Americans. The Americans drove us back? I never said that, did I, Miss oh. Marty Banks? If you let me bloody well finish, I was about to say, Excuse when the Americans me. come into the war, see, where our lands was forced to vacate their trenches. Because when the Americans arrived, the bloody French goes up the rents even higher. That's why my Eddie couldn't send me no money home because of them princes. And now, they're begging us on their hands and knees to go in a common market with them. Bloody froggies. The Queen went out there. I know that. She spoke French as well. Fluent. Better than they do. <laughs> well, she is what they call a linguist, isn't she? She's got to be seen meeting all them foreigners. They can't speak bloody English, can they? Don't be so daft. All French people speak English, especially the people she meets. Look, they might speak a bit of it. I'll grant you that, some of them. They can't speak it proper like what we do, can they? None of them. <laughs> Look at me at de Gaulle. General de Gaulle. Over here for years he was. Every time he opened his mouth, you could tell he was a bloody froggy. <laughs> long nosed git. I don't know how Churchill put up with him that long. I don't. I mean, all over us he was when he didn't have two aprons to rub together his arse hanging out of his trousers. <laughs> Soon as we liberated his bloody France, he didn't want to know us, did he? No. Got a big nose. <laughs> the gall? No, the baby. Mmm, <laughs> big. Just like your dad. <laughs> Got hair like your dad, too. No baby has hair at this age, Gran. Your dad never had hair at any age. Did he? <laughs> His mum didn't worry though. Looked on the bright side, she did. Always said, nits can't get tangled in what you ain't got. <laughs> Milkman, she's seen us, she is. She'll be put down, bloody use the knees. That's what she ought to be done with it. Bloody awful. You knew my mother? Oh, she... didn't know her that well. <laughs> but my mother. Listen, your grandmother, she she was respectable and pure. She was she, she didn't sit around all day guzzling bloody drink. Oh, well, you make up for that. <laughs> I'm going out of pub! Good riddance. I'll come with you. I think you've upset him. <laughs> oh, he hasn't got a big nose, has he? No, you haven't got a big nose, have you? No. Don't worry, he'll grow into it. <laughs> <laughs>